Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, Shardimus Prime here, doing another uh, Transformers toy review on Transformers G1 Megatron. Uh, this uh, review is uh, done um, due to a request from Naruto Boy 073. He wanted to see a review on a Transformer, so here we go. Uh, G1 Megatron. This thing is badass. Um, this is very loose over here, obviously. Um, but um. Yeah, uh, this this is one of my most prized possessions. This is one of those figures that I've wanted my entire life, and I picked him up about two years ago at the WonderCon. Um, and he's really just truly an amazing figure to have. Um, it's really one of the most badass figures I've ever owned. His robot mode is a little funky looking, but um, especially because of this big piece, and his barrel is supposed to be sticking forward, but I have it tilted back to uh kind of mimic the the G1 cartoon a little bit more. But um yeah, I mean he turns into a uh, uh, P Wal uh, Walter P38. So that's like the Nazi handgun and um it's I mean just when you see his gun mode, you'll see how incredible he is. Um now I bought this for 45 bucks, which I didn't think was a bad deal. Um at the WonderCon, and it came with the barrel right here, and uh, Megatron. Now, I do have the accessories, um, minus the sword. I believe he's supposed to come with um, two hand weapons, this gun thingy right here, and I believe he's supposed to come with the sword, which I do not have. And um, for you experienced G1 collectors, I do have some questions for you guys, so please help me out with that if you can. Um, so, on to the review. The uh, scope is pretty badass. Um, it can come apart if you want it to. You could take this off if you want, which I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. And then you could take this piece off if you want as well. Sometimes you see these pieces being sold individually on eBay. And then this little thing kind of pops up right here and right here. Why? I do not know. I don't know why it does that. It doesn't fit into his hands or anything. And, um, yeah, and the figure itself is really badass. He's He's got a lot of die-cast metal in him, so you could see, like, this inside part of his legs is all die-cast metal, his feet, um, same thing with the other side of his legs. And then for the upper part of the body, the only part that's really die-cast metal is this piece right here, going like that, and then this bar going across from here all the way to here. So, yeah, but overall, he's a hefty figure, um... Very, very cool. It's an original, uh, you know, I really like looking at the copyright date. It says Made in Japan, Takara Company, copyright 1974-1983. Wow, that is so cool. Especially because I was born in 1981, and um, so I wasn't really old enough to get a lot of these, you know, first wave uh, G1 figures. So I'm very, very happy to own him now as an adult. Very cool. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, so he comes with... Well, I had to buy these separately, and I honestly feel like I got gypped, but here, you could, he has this, uh, I forgot to pull these out, but he has this extra gun thing right here that he can use. Oh, I set this up totally wrong. There we go. Sorry. These flaps come out right here. I forgot to do that. Okay. So yeah, so he has this extra huge cannon right there. And I thought at first that because he has these holes on the inside of his hands that he can, these will fit perfectly inside, but they don't really, I can't really get him to hold both sides, only one side at a time. And then it's cool also, you could, uh, it's like, put this in here, I think that's the way it's supposed to go, and then you could put the scope on top of it right here. So these extra pieces right here, aside from the scope, if I can, Says side Megatron, so that's pretty cool looking. And there is a version that actually shoots pellets out. If I, I think uh, you're supposed to put pellets into this top thingy right here, and then pull back on it, and it's supposed to shoot them out. I know the masterpiece one does that, which is very badass. So now these pieces right here form the uh, Megatron's accessories. Now I thought this was original when I was buying it online, but. Um, Turns out it is not because it said it's made in China. So it's like if you look over here, it says, you can't see it, but it says Takara 1974-1983, China, Hasbro 1974-1983. So that, that kind of blows. 
got gypped on that one. So, you G1 collectors, if you know of a way of being able to tell, aside from seeing stickers on them, uh, like how, you know, how this is an actual legit G1 piece and or fake, you know, if you guys could let me know about that. That'd be fucking sweet. But um, my ignorant ass fucking went and bought a fucking knockoff. Oh, well, it works. When I put it all together, I think it looks badass. Um... Yeah, so transforming Megatron. Oh, and then uh, this, I'm sure the sword has the same thing, but there's a knob right here sticking out on the side of this handgun thing, and it could fit into this hole. Well, right now it doesn't want to agree with me, but it, it you know, it typically fits in that hole right there, and, and, uh, and he can hold his gun. Let's try it one more time. Work, damn you. Don't make me look like an ass. Oh, I'm an ass. All right. Oh, there we go. But um, probably because it's a knockoff, it doesn't fit. But, you know, right when I got this, I was like, wow, this is way too shiny, you know? And I really like the stickers, even though they're totally faded. You know, his Decepticon logo sticker right there is, you know, hella faded. Got a little piece of the sticker, sliver of the sticker. I got to try to super glue that back on there. But this is the Decepticon logo, faded. Same thing with this side over here. But, um... Yeah, I think he's just really cool. And there is some paint wear on the front, on his forehead, you know. So, yeah. Um, transforming is, I think this is a very impressive transformation, you know. Um, I, this is, I, th I would consider this probably one of the more difficult uh, G1 transformations out there. Um, I think it's somewhat complex. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. But, um, yeah. I guess, like, for me, it's... I'm always kind of scared of breaking him whenever I transform him because he's old and delicate. I think he's old and delicate. But uh, my friend Ghetto Gypsy, uh, him and I were on Blog TV and he busted his out and holy shit, man, he fucking transformed that motherfucker in record timing. So I was, <laughs> I was pretty impressed. Um, yeah, so swing this shit around. I mean, there's tons of videos on this figure, so, you know, I don't know how unique... It is for me to be doing a review on him, but, you know, I'm stoked on Transformers right now. Got my DVD uh, for the Revenge of the Fallen movie. Watch the special features, and I hate Michael Bay more than ever, because that guy is a total ass. God, I hate that guy. I think uh, the movie does, you know, I think these movies do really well, because, you know, people just want to go out there and see a fun action movie, and uh, and I think that's what I give them, and that's why, you know, they make so much money. No, dude, it's because it's a 25-year-old franchise. That's why, man. All right. And that's pretty much it. So there's a Walter P38. It's weird to say. I want to say Walter, but it's Walter. W-A-L-T-H-E-R. Cool gun, man. Look at that shit. Pretty sick, huh? I'm about out of, out of time, so I'm going to add on the accessories right here. Now, I did add some tape onto this thing to help the scope hold a little better but you know for this video it's not really helping or working put the scope on right there silencer goes ah you holy little you son of a bitch uh, i put this on upside down dumbass okay there we go okay there's a silencer and then the stock piece comes up like that Okay, so, I think he's so fucking cool. I don't know, does it help if I put a little piece of paper like that? Maybe an envelope like that? Look at fucking Megatron. He's cool, man. Old school, badass fucking toy. It really makes a difference to me that this sliver of sticker isn't there, so I will be putting that back on, but I think he's so cool. Yeah, so that's my uh, G1 figure review. Kind of suck at doing Transformers reviews. I don't really do them so often, especially G1. I think this is my second uh, G1 Transformer review. So I hope you guys like it, and uh, I will do more later. Okay, peace.